Number five then from the 2006 High Maths Paper 2. Here you've got the equation for the derivatives on a curve. You have to find the equation of the curve itself, given that the curve passes through this point. So if you know the derivative and you want to go back to the original one, you'll do the opposite of differentiating, which is to integrate. So the next line should simply be to say, well, that may, in that case, to go back to y, I'll just integrate the 4x minus 6x squared to see where it would have started in the first place. To do the differentiation, that's the first mark. So speaking, just knowing to integrate is the first mark, even if you don't write this bit. But I think you should consider it as that's the first mark, knowing to integrate to go back to the original. Just to be note here, this is actually called a differential equation. To get back to y, strictly speaking, what you do is this. You've got to do y by dx equals whatever its formula is. Taking the dx across and multiplying gives you dy equals 4x minus 6x squared all times dx. These are the differentials. And to bring them back up again, you then integrate both sides. Now the integral of dy, just like the integral of dx, which you consider like a 1dx gives you an x, the integral of dy goes back to y, and then that's just the standard form for integrating this expression. Still, you don't need to know that. You just think, how do I go back again? Do the opposite, integrate. Now, integrate. Remember, integrate, build it up. The powers go up. Add 1 to the power, so it goes up to x squared, and divide by that 2. Maybe I'll just show it just now. Divide by the 2. Go up to power 3, and divide by that 3, and don't forget, because that's what the following two marks are for, don't forget that there could be some constant which would have disappeared when you were differentiating. That's why there's nothing here. So y equals 2x squared minus 2x cubed plus c. Now that's the second mark. Strange in the marking scheme it doesn't have this little c mentioned at this stage. The marks just seem to be for processing this part of it. Now, geometrically, this stands for a whole family of curves. Notice they're cubic curves. They're upside down cubes. A cubic curve looks like that. This will be an upside down cubic curve. So it'll look like this. And that plus c at the end simply means, well, if there was no c there at all, if there's nothing there at all to go through the origin, I'm not sure what it actually looks like. I'll just pretend it looks like this. But the whole family is, well, depending on what c is, you'll just have parallel repetitions of this. Any of these curves could be the one that you want. And what this part here says, you want the one that goes through the point negative 1, 9, that goes through negative 1, 9. In other words, this is the one you want. Still, just feeding those numbers in, which is what you'd probably naturally do, you'd say, well, negative 1, 9 means I can figure out what C is. There are three letters in this. If I want one of them, I need to replace two of them with numbers. Well, I can put negative 1 for x, 9 for y, and that'll just leave me c, and then that'll be it done. So that's what you do. So y will be 9. x, I'll just put that in, will be a negative 1, minus 2 times another negative 1, plus c. Doing that gets the third mark. Well, that's a positive 1, so that's a 2. That's a negative 1, but subtract it, so that's another 2. We could put it down, I suppose. That's a 2 plus a 2 plus a c, which means c equals, take the 4 across, c equals 5. Now, you need that, but that's not the final mark in the question, because the question said, express y in terms of x. So you just finish off by doing what it says. So that means it's 2x squared minus 2x cubed plus 5. There's your fourth mark.